Uh, wait. Brightness is up. All right. Hello. I was really busy. That's why I haven't been recording. But today, if everything goes right, um, let me turn that up a little bit. I should be able to do three Tales of Linked videos and hopefully one music video. So, let's see how this day goes. Yep, we're fighting again. Yep, yep, let's do this. Yay, a bunch of Valentine's Day events is gonna be coming out, so. More hero stones, I guess. I don't know, maybe some new gear. Go forth! <coughs> oh. oh man. Oh yeah, I still have stuff going on in the background. Um, oh, there's a little note. Pause, but pause. Awesome. Do do do. Kill more creatures. Kill more creatures. Gonna have firepower and. Now that I think about it, most of my characters are of the element of dark. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. All right. Edge. What are you? You look like one of the Santa Clauses that we that we got to meet. Which that was a, the Tales of the series has a really cool interpretation of Santa. It's basically there's this whole Santa organization um, that deliver presents instead of just one guy delivering things. For tougher missions, you they send out like um, this super buff. Santa and this super buff reindeer. It's awesome. And then the Golly, I wonder how many Santas there are for the Tales of series. And how unique they probably are. Oh, you're right behind me. Do 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 do. Hero stones. Ew, more masterworks. Okay. All right. Yeah, that'll be a little bit better to work with. Boost my attack. Or at least for my Slash characters, which I have a lot of. What is it that I'm ha low on? I think it's Shot characters that I'm low on. Out of the way, or be torn asunder, or torn a new one. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Awesome! Thank you, at just at the right moment. Perfect. Feel this. Take that. All right. Go forth. Yes. Do do do. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> Clearly, we are the winners. All right. A fire crackles. We've made camp for the night. I'm on watch duty. Yeah, maybe turn that down a little bit. We beat the bandits and left them tied up at the side of the road. I'm sure someone will find them and escort them to wherever bandits belong. <laughs> Imagine if no one finds them. They're just on the side of the road. No one ever finds them, ever. And they just kind of starve out there. That'd be a dark twist for, for our good deed. That'd be really dark. I look at my sleeping companions. Mmm, mom, that tastes great. Must be dreaming about a home-cooked meal. Dear me, these cherries, most delightful. Mmm, cheese bread. Why is everyone thinking about food right now? Well, that's a weird coincidence. And then I look at the one asleep with the big Toby smile on her face. Is she thinking about food too? Mmm, so much milk. Go ahead, drink up. You might actually grow a little. Hey, stay out of their dreams. Let them have much. T Let them have that much to themselves. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <coughs> Snap. For a while, a wood popping in the fire is the only sound. Then Yuri suddenly strikes up a conversation. Hey, Zephyr. What is it? I just got something on my mind. You seem like you've been a little on edge lately, huh? What do you mean? I'm the same as I've always been. That might be so, but sometimes folk can't always see it for themselves. Maybe being rescued by Kana came as a bit of a shock to you. I have been traumatized by the saving of Kana. Kana saving me, it just ruined my life. I'll never be able to cope with it, ever. I'm just doomed. What do you mean by that, Yuri? Nah, it's nothing. Just sticking my nose where it doesn't belong, I guess. Forget I mentioned it. Wait, if Yuri's with us, then what's Rapide doing right now? Is he just chilling with Estelle? Chilling in the lower quarter? Like, where is Rapide? Just a, I know Rapide's kind of like, does his own thing, but, you know, just curiosity. 
<sighs> I've seen folk push themselves a little too hard for a little too long and burn themselves right out. Just thinking I'd hate to see that happen to you. I don't know what he's talking about. But when he said it, I could feel this little ripple run through my chest. I don't know what he's talking about, but... Uh, you're not the type to bring it up if it was nothing. I'll give it some thought. That's all I ask. Anyway, shit's over. Hey, Sarah, wake up. Is that right? I said about waking Ellen and Lippy for their shift. I hadn't realized our watch was already over. How do you tell time at night? Do you just kind of guess? Mm. I guess when you live in an area like that, you probably tell time a little bit better. Sometimes things change before you realize it's happening. Okay. That doesn't sound... None of that sounded happy other than the talk of food. <laughs> oh, is that where we are? Could that be it? What is it, Lady Sarah? Let me see. Sarah is slipping through our maps, excited about something. That is it! I knew it! Is something the matter, Lady Sarah? Hey, Prince. Well, it's just... No, it's nothing. No big deal. Come on, let's get going. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Alright, Kana, do your worst. Sarah, what are you hiding from me? Hey, Kana, come on, get off of me. Ow, you're too heavy. Well, you guys look like you're about the same height. Ha, huh, tell me everything or I'll ride you all the way to the next temple. Wahaha! -ha. I am Kana, writer of people. Fine, alright, I'll tell you. There's something a little ways off the road here, through the woods, I think. It's a giant tree named Luaina. It's supposed to be huge. They said it, say it's like 5,000 years old. Well, if the temple's hidden, then... Oh my, one can certainly feel a sense of history coming from a great tree like that. Huh. I feel like that's where you might put a temple. Maybe underneath a giant tree like that. How old are these temples again? My brother told me about the tree once. He said it was magnificent, and that he wanted to show it to me one day. You have a brother, Sarah? This is the first time you've mentioned him. Yeah, he used to be an adventurer. Now he's a soldier in the army of the country where we grew up. From adventurer to soldier. Huh, that's quite a lifestyle change. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Huh. He used to love exploring uncharted areas and seeking out rare herds and stuff. But that sort of thing has gotten so much harder lately. Oh, did he actually take an arrow to the knee? Because that'd be... That'd be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. But it would also be kind of funny. Ah, uh, because of the rune airs, no doubt. The wilds aren't as safe as they used to be. Hmm. Of all of his stories, the ones about this tree really intrigued me. I'd always hoped to see it one day. Of course, we've got a much more important task ahead of us, and we ought to get back on track. Yeah, we could, we could, this is the last temple, so we can do the temple, and then check out the tree. 
you know? Once we do the last temple, um, then we're set. All right, let's go. Hey, Kana. <laughs> Does everyone just, like, pull on her hood? <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of when I figured out Jean wears the hoodie. Uh, that, was, that was really weird. The temple town is that way. And here I thought you'd gotten a lot better at navigation. You're the one who's going the wrong way, Sarah. Luina's that way, right? We could, I guess we could take a t detour. What? No, 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 no. Gotta, it's all right. I appreciate the thought. I really do, but. Come on, Sarah. We're friends, right? This is important to you. That's important to me. Don't you want to see it? Of course I want to, but this is no time for selfish detours. Well, I want to see it, and I'm not the only one, am I? Alan and Lippy were the first, but soon everyone was nodding. Well, detour it is. If it's that close, why not? We've got time for a little detour. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. It's the side then. To the great tree! Away! Pachoo! Making dreams come true. Awesome. Smarting blade. <laughs> and That person's dead. You will never defeat me. So far, so good. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, gotta get rid of this group of hearts. Wow, who would have thought? Ugh, all my guests. Kinda of reminds me of Shiren. A little bit. Just a little bit. You will fall! Hmm. Wow, that really isn't a good set. <laughs> It's a little bit better than what I could be getting hit by. Sorry. Get the healing out of the way. Alright. 
Go, bird! Fly! Doo -doo. Golly, I'm shaking my phone around. <sighs> Peck out his eyes! Or her eyes. Awesome. Treasure. I guess it'll probably be guardian tickets that I'm not gonna use. Uh, maybe we'll, there'll be some more new guardians. Alright. Wish fulfillment. After wish fulfillment, we will end this episode. So let's do this. Oh, it's nine twenty six. It's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, Asterworks. That probably could have been used better, but whatever. Uh. Sometimes I wonder if I should use a leader that has that times two factor. Hmm. The only thing that worries me about using the times two and times two point two, you know, using those leader skills is. If you fall below 50% health, then you're, you're really strict, you're really left in the cold out there. But, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll use it in the future. Out the way! The lag is real! Ow. Well, it wasn't nice knowing you. Goodbye. Awesome. 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 Do 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 do. I guess well, this video is uploading. More mass words. Thank you. Always welcomed. Uh, while this is uploading, I'll be, you know, limiting out the gear and getting ready for the next one. So, bye.